I'm confident about the way things are going, yeah. Attorney Jay Wendell Gordon, after setting off fireworks in front of the jury on day six of the wrongful death trial in Baltimore County Circuit Court, after yet another SWAT team member took the stand and told the jury that he never felt unsafe during all those hours in the hallway outside Corinne Gaines' Randallstown apartment. Sergeant Chris Steffen also testified he saw Officer Royce Ruby fire the first shot, the shot that hit her in the back, a ballistics expert testified. Justified, a shot that killed her and also wounded her five-year-old son, Cody. Did you move? Attorney Ken Ravenel asked. I did not. I knew I was protected. 30 seconds later, the team inside, Sergeant Stephan said he saw Officer Ruby outside of the kitchen and I observed him engage Miss Gaines and fire three rounds, adding later, firing his weapon, aiming it in a downward slope. That touched off an explosive exchange with attorney Jay Wendell Gordon, who said the bottom line is you were fully suited and booted. Your men were fully armed and fully protected. You had enough equipment out there like you were going after Osama bin Laden. You called Ruby a cowboy. Um, you basically said he was trying to finish Ms. Gaines off. Yeah, uh, I think the evidence points to the fact that Ruby was was um very callous and savage when it came to the shooting of Miss Gaines. So far, four of the six SWAT team members who were positioned outside Corinne Gaines, Corinne Gaines' apartment have testified. The four of them had said, all said they all felt safe. They never felt like they were in any danger. The plaintiffs plan to call the fifth officer, Officer Callahan, tomorrow. They do not intend to call Officer Ruby. Reporting live from Towson, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL, TV 11 News. Yeah.